welcome students to this first online lecture of optional english today first of all i welcome you all and congratulate you for choosing optional english as you are one of the optional subjects generally mm, till your 12th standard you have some compulsory subjects okay only the branch that you choose is the optional one you either go to science you go to arts or you go to commerce and in your 12th you may have one optional subjects such as in case of economics you may be having optional subject something else such as history sociology either the out of these three you might opt one or two subjects similarly in your first year there are two compulsory subjects one is english compulsory and second is the language there are two languages prescribed for you marathi and hindi these are called as esl esl means second language out of these two you have to choose one you might have chosen already one hindi or marathi and now there remains three subjects there are overall seven subjects in arts uh, three languages and four of social science three languages means english hindi marathi and four of social science means political science history economics and sociology now there is a combination of subjects if you choose one language then you have to choose two from social science if you have chosen now you have chosen english compulsory english optional english compulsory is there already you don't have any choice of choosing it or not but you have chosen one of the remaining three subjects and one of these three subject is english optional and there might be other two uh subjects like political science or economics or sp- political science history economics history economic sociology so this this is the combination of three subject now so the pattern for you is totally there are five subjects first is english compulsory second is hindi or marathi third is one of the optional that you have chosen english com- optional and remaining two subjects might be as per your choice so there are total five subjects but there might be totally eight papers there are total eight papers in your first year first semester examination now onwards you are going to opt for so far uh, up to 12th standard you might be having only one board examination okay that we that to at the end of the year annual pattern that was but now onwards there is the semester pattern semester means your one year is divided into two parts and university conducts examination for these two parts separately the first part is called as first semester the second part is called as second semester and then in your second year the first part of the second year is called as third semester and the second part of the second year is called as fourth semester so totally in your three years you have six semesters means three years are divided in six parts okay first year two parts second year two parts third year two parts that means first year you, in first year you are having two semesters second year two semesters and third year two semesters thus there are six semesters to you and in these six semesters university will be conducting examination and not the college the college will conduct internal test tutorials but the main question paper the main question paper or the main examination of the semester will be conducted by the university so this is the overall pattern of the ba means what you are going to opt now 
now coming to your this paper optional english in optional english there are two papers as i told you in the first semester there are two papers first paper and second paper and in your second semester there will be an extension of these two papers and these two papers will be called as third and fourth paper we will have the introduction of these remaining two in the next semester but presently i just outline you what is the pattern of the overall the overall examination pattern and i have briefed it to you now we will come to just a moment we will come to i i'll show you this in a moment okay mm. just a minute i'll show you in ba there are three years okay first year second year and third year these are three years your ba degree is of three years and in your first year you have two semesters in your first year you have two semesters in your second year you have two semesters and in your third year you have two semesters these are called as semesters okay semesters in marathi we call it satra satra pehla satra dusra satra okay now these semesters or oh, i'll have to keep it this is the first semester and this is the second semester so in ba you have in your first year you have first semester and second semester in ba second year you have third semester and fourth semester in third year in third year you have fifth semester and sixth semester so overall there are first second third fourth fifth and sixth there are six semesters okay now now coming to our optional subject i'll show you what is this now in your first semester first semester you have five subjects the first subject is the first subject is english compulsory the second subject is marathi or hindi these are compulsory the subjects and there are three more subjects okay three more subjects as you have chosen english optional this is the one subject english optional and there might be other subjects such as sociology economics history political science okay so you have one two three okay and out of these four you have two means in all there are there are how many subjects five subjects you have five subjects and these five subjects further five subjects okay and for english compulsory there is one paper for esl there is one paper 
but for remaining three subjects means your optional subjects there are two papers each that means for english optional you will have two papers english compulsory there is one paper hindi or marathi there is one paper but for english optional or political science or sociology or economics the remaining two subjects you will have two papers okay now we will come to our main point for english optional there are two papers paper first and paper second paper first and paper second the paper first is for 100 marks for semester first and paper second is for 100 marks for semester second okay similarly the remaining two optionals they will also have paper first for the 100 marks and paper second for the 100 marks okay now going further we will come to our paper we will come to our paper which one is that that is optional english paper first optional english paper first this is optional english course this is optional english course optional english course first year of ba paper paper code is ope ope means optional paper english first and the title of the paper is paper title mean name of the paper is forms of literature forms of literature means types of literature what are the main forms of literature or main types of literature okay this is the name of our paper name of paper forms of literature we should keep this in mind always hmm? now coming to the second slide what are the aims and objectives of this paper each syllabus has certain aims and objectives syllabus is not prescribed just for fun it has certain objectives it has certain aims ध्येय उद्दिष्ट म्हणतो आपण त्याला प्रत्येक पेपरला कुठलं ना कुठलं ध्येय उद्दिष्ट असतं ते विनाकारण ठेवलेलं नसतं पेपर या पेपरला म्हणजे पहिला पेपर जो आहे आपला फॉर्म्स ऑफ लिटरेचर म्हणून या नावाचा त्या पेपरचे एम्स अँड ऑब्जेक्टिव्ज वॉट आर द एम्स अँड ऑब्जेक्टिव्ज ऑफ दिस पेपर टू मेक द स्टुडंट्स अवेअर ऑफ बेसिक कन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिटरेचर स्टुडंट्स हॅज टू बी मेड अवेअर of basic concepts of literature basic concepts of literature what are the basic concepts of literature we will learn in this syllabus the first aim of this paper is second to make them aware of forms of literature what are the forms of literature what are the types of literature we will come to know in this paper first and second paper and further aim and objective is to help the students develop their test for literature and its judgment to help the student develop means students should develop in themselves what should they develop a test for literature now some students they might not have any kind of interest in literature but now as english is an important subject some of the students might have taken english as the subject by reading you will develop a kind of interest by reading you will develop a kind of test for literature and this is one of the objectives of the paper and second and last fourth is to make the students realize creative language and art this is very important 
this is very important why important these are all important but this is very important because the final objective of any syllabus any topic any subject is to teach the student life skills life skill means the skills which the students will be able to use in their life for their overall progress and this is to be achieved here to make the students realize creative language what is creative language and what is art okay these are the four aims and objectives of teaching english literature to you i will repeat once again to make the students aware of basic concepts of literature number 1 to make them aware of forms of literature to make the students develop their test for literature and its judgment and the last to make the students realize creative language and art what is a creative language language can be language is particularly the important instrument to express yourself or to present yourself you can present yourself by expressing your thoughts through words through words and that is the principal objective of learning literature okay you will learn different languages means skills of languages and you will apply these skills of languages in your daily life now going further this syllabus the total syllabus of this paper has three sections the first section is devoted to poetry the first section is devoted to poetry types of poetry and texts of poetry types of poetry means there are these four types of poetry which you have to study this year there are so many but presently you have to study these four the lyric the ode the sonnet the elegy these are the four types of poetry you will have a short introduction to these all you will have a short introduction means what kind of introduction what is a lyric what is an ode what is a sonnet and what is an elegy so you will have an introduction to all these a short introduction and then these after learning these types of poetry we will learn the texts of poetry which are based on this which are based on these four types now ode on a gracian urn okay this ode form that the type of which we will study this we will have an exemplary exemplary study in the form of a poem written by john keats the title of the poem is ode on a gracian urn so we will have one ode for our study second elegy written in a country churchyard written by thomas gray this is the title of the poem elegy written this is the title of the poem and this is written by thomas gray and this example is of this example is of elegy the so type of elegy we will study and its example also we will study on his blindness this is a sonnet this is a sonnet form on his blindness this is a sonnet form this titled poem is written by a poet called john milton and the last poem that we have to study this year is the lyric form and this lyric form this lyric type an example of this lyric type we will study in the form of the splendor falls the splendor falls which is written by alfred lord tennyson alfred lord tennyson so these this is the first section in the first section you will study the types of literature types of poetry and in the second section you will study the text of poetry in the types of poetry the forms we will study or what are the different forms its definition its 
characteristics we will study in the types of poetry and these characteristics we will try to understand in actual poetry written by different poets okay now the next sorry the next part or the next section is that of drama similarly as we have seen in poetry as we have seen in poetry there are different types of drama one type of drama is tragedy one type of drama is tragedy second type of drama is comedy and third type of drama is tragic comedy these are the types of drama and we will study one example of the drama title of the drama is the merchant of venice which is written by william shakespeare this drama is for 20 marks and the types that we'll study the theoretical part we'll study will be of how much marks 10 marks 10 marks okay so there are this is the second section the first section is of poetry the second section is of drama and the third section is of fiction the third section is of fiction fiction means story katha fiction means story katha now in this again we will have the theoretical part we will have the theoretical part and this theoretical part will be taught in what is fiction you will be made aware of characteristics of fiction what is a short fiction you will be made aware of the characteristics of a short fiction fiction means katha mothi asu shakte kiwa chote asu shakte mothi asel tar tala kadambari manto chote asel tar ek choti katha manto so what is a fiction we will understand the type of fiction or the characteristics of the fiction and we will try also to understand what is a short fiction what is the difference between this and this further there is the new development has occurred and this new development is called as science fiction this new development is called as science fiction fiction based on science or the stories from science this is called as science fiction and for this fiction section we will have to study one novel by khushwant singh the title of that novel is train to pakistan written by one of the renowned indian writer khushwant singh okay this is for again 10 marks and this is for 20 marks types of fiction is for 10 marks and text of fiction means actual study of a fiction is for 20 marks then further there is an internal evaluation of 20 marks 20 marks internal evaluation is there in which you have to write a critical appreciation of any texts you have to write the critical appreciation of any text any text means which text one this is the first text train to pakistan then there is a drama merchant to venice merchant of venice this is the text and these are the poems these are the texts of the poems so you have to out of these four out of these four you have to write a critical appreciation on any of these as per the as per the recommendation of the as per the recommendation of the teacher means you 
come with the idea that I want to write something on these texts or any kind of recommendation from me. Hence, I will recommend you. Okay, instead of writing on Kushwan Singh's train to Pakistan or writing on Merchant of Venice of Shakespeare, you will write something, something else. I will give you a topic by uh, topic of your choice. Okay, so there is a kind of liberty for us to decide the topic, and you have to write on these things. Okay, so this is the overall syllabus of our paper first the title of the paper first is the title of the paper first is forms of literature it has types of literature which is and texts of literature uh, poetry these are for 10 marks each 10 plus 10 20 then there is a type of drama and text of drama these are for 10 and 20 marks 20 plus this 30 50 marks and this fiction type of fiction and text of fiction for 30 marks 15 30 80 and the internal evaluation for 20 marks the overall assessment of the paper first will be for 20 marks okay 800 marks now you just note down this this is an important uh, slide for you on which the books that will be that the books that are prescribed to you are given here and now you have all of you have mobile phones with you android based and you can study uh, or you can access these e-resources of poetry this is the address given you can uh, search it on google and you will have some text of this some material of this and these are the two books that we have to study these are the two books that we have to study the first book mh abrams and b prasad okay let me see who is calling me again and again we'll take a so coming back again mm, these are the texts that i have uh, the university has prescribed to you the first book is of mh abrams the second is of uh, B. Prasad and the, these are three resources. Okay, I will give you the lecture videos of the lectures one by one and in meantime, okay, we will conduct some tests also so that I could assess what knowledge have you gained and what, what are your problems. I will post the lectures, video lectures as per my convenience means my convenience means maximum I will try to post the lectures every day. Actually in offline lectures we have only four lectures in the week but I will try to post lectures daily because if we have very short duration for preparation for our examination. So we will study seriously and you, you will do the task given seriously i hope that okay let's stop here